How are we going everybody? A few emails have come through asking about tomato training and pruning in fact, so they get a better idea on how I do it basically. Now I've been doing a few varieties in training, that is I'm using the string, I'm using the ladders, and I'm using some bamboo canes which need, need to be extended. I'm going to go through those with you shortly, but I want to show you and share with you, I think it was three days or four days ago, I've, look I can't remember exactly, but remember we planted our cucumbers in here, look in the middle here, this is where we've got the cocoa pith. In the middle we've planted about four or five cucumber seeds in each pocket and they've all pretty much germinated folks. So it is very late in the season folks, yes I know. We've got other cucumbers in the private gardens over there which are about so big only. Now I did plant very late by comparison to a lot of people out there um, across the state and Australia in fact. Uh, so we are, I picked my first tomato this morning, was that big? It was so big I ate it already, I couldn't, didn't want to wait for the camera to come out. So anyway, that's our first tomato. And now when it comes to training tomatoes, where are we going to start from? We'll start from over here. Come over here. So these ones here. These are on the lattice. And the way, the way, oh boy, this is pretty tight. You're going to have to squat down with me here, buddy. Have a look. Now, what we've got here is, just getting my pruners, lattice work, and I'm using the tape tape and the tool or the the max tape tool and that's that blue little ribbon that goes around there you've seen me use it a hundred times it's available on our website folks if you're looking for something to tie it up that's a real simple way of doing it so it just holds it onto place uh, against the lattice now with the lattice work itself you now you can use the tape tool I've used it at the beginning as I have here but as the plant starts to grow and develop you can weave it in and out through the lattice itself or simply just push it up against there and tape it up again. Now I didn't bring the tape tool to demonstrate that, but that's what it looks like at the end of the day. So this needs to go there, but you also got to be careful of the flowers. These have knocked off. And remember we've had some crazy weather, so I don't expect all the flowers to set fruit on these plants. So that can get taped up to there, or as we have here, see that coming through there? It's feed it through this side of it. And as it gets bigger, we push it back on that side, through that side there carefully. Anyway, I won't do it because it's still a bit short for that, but that's the idea of it. And Lateral, see that growing there now? So we've got one growing here, that's the main one, but it's forked off here. Now that's already taken off extremely well. We can keep that because we've got the space to grow it there. It's like espalier work. So we've got that happening there. But on this side here, just up here, to give you an idea, this is what comes up. These are the ones we cut off. These are indeterminate plants, which means they keep growing. They don't have a certain point where they reach up to and then they flower out on top and that's the end of their life cycle. These will continue to grow. So they will constantly push out on every leaf now that you have a new shoot or you just snap it off. Better to snap it off during the warm weathers so it does uh, heal properly. On the cooler days you don't. So quickly before we go to the next one, remove all the bottom leaves. You must remove them even if they're healthy folks. They're only there to serve a purpose and that purpose is to protect any fruit down below and obviously the plant and the soil below from eroding too much. But in this case here we've got enough leaves already on this plant growing up and we want the energy to go straight up to the top. So the more leaves you leave, the slower these plants will grow. These should have been cut off about a week ago or maybe a little bit less than a week ago, but that's all we need to do. I'm using the secateurs just to show you that you can do it like that or otherwise, see this one here? There's another one growing there. Just, it snaps off straight away like that, nice and clean. So that's lattice work. Let's go to the other ones. These are my other big malakas under the uh, netting inside here, folks. These are doing really well too, even though we had those crazy weathers. Netting, I can't stress it, how important it is and how much it saved my plants, in particular, in particularly in here. The netting saved it from all the hailstone and obviously the sun as well. It does reduce some amount, a little bit of sunlight on them so the UV doesn't burn them as much. There is a difference between these indoor plants and that's what I call these uh, compared to the ones outside. But again, lattice work, you can see lots of blue tape here, tie up on it. All this needs to be clipped back onto it here. Now, with a tape gun machine, it's a lot easier than trying to maneuver the plants through and in and out through the lattice. And if you're using a smaller hole, it's even worse. So your best just to keep it flat and tape it on there or use a soft tie. Now we're up to the strings here. Remember I built this structure about a week ago? We quickly threw this up. And now I, I didn't mention to you last time that we had to remove uh, the, the jute tie, which was the, the, the more rigid sort of string that we used. And that was a bit too harsh on it because it's succulent. So 
The idea, let me put this stuff down here, let me find some plants. These are still small. This one here, for example, this is coming along. Now, the idea is to actually wrap the string around or the actual vine around the stem and use the leaves themselves as anchor points to stop the string from falling back out. So find the most comfortable spot there or a larger leaf like that. There we are. I'll do another one. Now these aren't, these are pretty well developed already. This one just needs to go around one more time. And that's all you do is just wrap it around. But look, we've got flowers. Be careful of the flowers, go underneath or above, whichever is more comfortable for the plant. That's one too many times wrapped up there, but that's just for the purpose of demonstration. Here's a shoot. Now, I said to you earlier, you can snap these off or cut them off. If you're not comfortable in snapping them off, you're best to actually use a secateurs. And as I did spray my one earlier, in this case here, if you're comfortable and you're confident it's gonna snap straight away, no, nah, see, that's not snapping. It does, oh, yes it is, there it is, done. That's a quick snap. That Well, actually, that was a slow snap. I shouldn't go that slow. Um, that's taken off those stems. But as far as taking off the bottom ones, the leaves, folks, it's an up action. See that? Just snap straight up. You don't want to be too rough. And the way I do it, everybody's got their own technique, but the question was posed, so I thought, all right, let me demonstrate it. Come down here for a second. I use my index finger, I put it there, and I use my thumb against the main stem, and I lean up like that, but I don't go all the way up unless it falls off on its own. If it doesn't fall off, I'll do a reverse action back down to break the top seal as well. So I did the bottom half, crack, as soon as it cracked, if it doesn't fall off straight away, I have to go back the opposite way. If you don't go the other way and it's still connected and you continue this way, you're gonna tear the stem completely. You're gonna open up a wound. If you go downward, sometimes, some people go down. I don't like down, I find it actually folds rather than cracks, so I like to crack the bottom side of the leaf, like this, done. And these are really, really crispy, so they're coming off really easy, like that, see there? So you can go around quite quickly. See, that's a new stem, I don't need that, but that's gonna be really soft down here. You can't see it, see down there? I'll try and break this off by hand now, but it'll just fold, see, it just folds. And if I pull that, it's gonna tear. So I'm gonna go and get my secateurs. Give me a second, I'm leaning over the potatoes spray so we give them a light spray carefully like that and then we go down here blade facing the plant and cut it off we don't need that and again as i said look there's more growing here so that's another leaf it's in the way we'll cut this one off anyway it's a little bit difficult to get to so either snap by hand if you're confident or as we are see that one there had to go downwards did you see that and look at that big malakas Hey, well, they're little malakas at the moment. They're gonna become big malakas. Here's another one here. See, that's an awkward spot. I can, no, it won't snap because it's already tight. So that's why you can use secateurs and feel more confident so, for all those. All right, that's the tying, that's the pruning. And the last thing of all, folks, tomato steaks. Well, the tomato steaks are pretty sta standard size thing. You don't have to do much more with that. Oh, I got excited. I just saw my eggplant, look at this. Look at this, how delicious. You know, I haven't been able to grow eggplants for a couple of years here because the weather just hasn't been hot enough, long enough. And the humidity is great, I suppose, this year. And these are thriving. A little bit of black grit will make a world of a difference again. So you can top up all your plants with a little bit of black grit. So after you finish pruning your tomatoes, handful of black grit around the base will make a world of difference and help those flowers stay on there. Hopefully the weather doesn't turn nasty for you guys because it's going to turn again for us, unfortunately. Check out our website, folks, vasilisgarden.com. Our black grid is on special. We are running our mid-summer sale, our hot mid-summer sale. Everything's drastically reduced to clear again, folks. We've got many hot houses. We've got to clear them. There's only a handful of each pack available. Check out the details. There is a coupon code to use. I think it's called Hot House to give you an extra discount off the discounted price so they're going to be going at cost price we want to get them out of there it's out of season comes autumn winter you're going to be looking for your hot house you're going to be regretting you didn't buy one i was about to say spewing but you're not going to spew you're just going to regret anyway vasilisgarden.com uh mini hot houses sale and our mid-summer sale as well from me vasili Maresi.